So let's face it, default stands which come along with your monitor are sometimes not ideal for your workplace. Sometimes they are bulky, sometimes they occupy too much space on your desk, or sometimes they're just not aesthetically pleasing. And that's why we have VESA compatible arms and mounts. So these VESA compatible stands and mounts come in variety of shapes and sizes and you have a wide array of selection to choose from depending on what fits your workplace best. But what if your monitor is not VESA compliant? Can you still go ahead and use these VESA stands? That's the very question we're going to answer in today's video by using this adapter bracket assembly for non-VESA compliant monitors. My name is Saish Gavas and welcome to the 8-Bit Go One. So let's go ahead and unbox this. The first thing is a pack of screws. There are a bunch of screws here, but to keep it simple, I'll say that there are three sets. We have large, medium, and small, and we're going to use all of them. We also have a few nuts and we have a spanner as well to fasten them. Next, we have these clamps or clips, which are going to be used to hold your monitor in place. And next, we have these slates, which are going to be connected to the VESA bracket itself. So there are quite a few variants available of this product, different brands selling them under different names. However, the overall assembly of each of these products is pretty much the same. And since we are on the topic of assembly, let's go ahead and get that done. So the first thing you want to do is take your clamp or clip and pry out the top cover with a screwdriver. And as you can see, there is a groove for the screw to go in. This will sit on one end of your slate. You can see that there is a groove at one end of the slate as well. And once you place your clip on this slate, you can just shove the screw in and screw it in place. something like this. Now you have four slates and four clips which means you're going to create four of these contraptions uh, and we're going to use the screws which are medium and large. The large screws are going to be used for the bottom of the monitor because your more often than not your monitor will be the thickness of the monitor at the bottom will be more than the thickness at the top so you need a little more spacing for the bottom bracket. So as you can see, we have four such contraptions. Two are using the larger screws and two are using the medium screws. So the first part of the assembly is done. We have four of these contraptions and now these have to be installed on the VESA plate itself. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we have the VESA plate, which is compatible with my monitor arm. As you can see, there are four grooves for the screws to fit in. This would ideally go ahead and stick to your basic compatible monitor. But in this case, we're going to attach it to the contraption itself. For this step, we're going to use the smaller screws along with the nut and the spanner. Place the screw through the base plate. Take one of your contraptions. and you can tighten the nut at the back. Likewise, you can go ahead and connect all four contraptions to this VESA plate. Two will be at the top and two will be at the bottom. And you can see that it might feel a little loose at the bottom, but that's fine because when we're installing the monitor, we need it to be a little loose so you can adjust it and then you can tighten it if you want later on. Now that we have the assembly in place, we need to install this assembly on our monitor arm. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I'm going ahead and installing the assembly on the monitor arm itself. I apologize for the camera work. Uh, it, I didn't realize it was an autofocus and it was just fluctuating. And once we have that installed, it looks something like this. 
So now we have everything in place to go ahead and place our monitor on this bracket. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm using a 27 inch monitor and I'm doing this alone, but it's always advisable to have someone to help you with this bracket and the monitor. But I was able to have this completed. You need to make sure that the clamps at the bottom are facing down and then you can place your monitor slowly and then you can adjust it as per how you want. So there will be some times where the monitor will sway and it will just move around. So go ahead and tighten those bolts accordingly. It will take some time, but then once everything falls in place, it will start shaping up. So here it is, it's glory fully installed and working just fine. So I've been using this kit along with my 27 inch LG monitor for about 4 to 5 months now and I have faced no problem whatsoever. I'm able to swivel the monitor, I'm able to adjust the height and it just works as it is supposed to. I would say that I do not want to try to rotate this 90 degrees even though it does support it because it might just slide down because it's holding from the top and the bottom. So. You can adjust it up here and there, you know, normally, but don't try some real acrobatics, etc. So with that, we've come to the end of this video. If you guys have any questions regarding this product, please let me know in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to assist you guys on that. Uh, like this video if you did like it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.